feel ready for the big night then. Did you design these? You're the guy that everybody's been talking about. I really gotta get him out of here. Uh, Wait, uh, uh, what? A curfew what? thing. What would become of his dreams? Ah! Ah! My shoe! My shoe! Run! Well, that would be its own kind of magic. I'm okay. Good. First, I loved you in a little fire there, where so I'm just glad to see you, uh, you know, see you in a lot more projects. Uh, now coming up but i gotta ask like is uh, it's kind of it's kind of generational not as much my generation but have you ever sat in line for some sneakers for a sneaker release i have once and I, it was crazy because i was just talking about this i was like i'm not a line person at all the patience that that takes to stand in line for hours to wait for shoes i've done it once probably never again i'm more of an online shopper so if i'm gonna be in any line i'm gonna be in an online line you know how they have like those little yeah that's yeah. that's what i do now yeah so what 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 is your your favorite uh sneaker in the in the closet and and does it have a story mm, gosh i would say probably my favorite sneaker I have ooh, fresh pair of mochas that my jordans jordan mochas and my parents got me them for christmas a couple of years ago and they are literally like, I only wear them on special occasion. Like they're just so clean, so fresh. There's not like a specific story tied to them, but brown is my favorite color. And so when I saw like a brown Jordan, I was like, I need that in my life. Um, so that's probably like my favorite pair that I have right now. I think it's your line in, in the movie where, where we talk about walking a mile and mm -hmm. somebody's shoes. So I know you have like, you know, you have your bio and you have the bio that the publicist created and IMDB, but if I walk the mile in Lexi's shoes, what would I learn about her that those things doesn't, doesn't inform me about? Mm, interesting. That's a great question. Uh, if you walked a mile in my shoes, I feel like you would, gosh, I feel like you would learn uh, that it takes a lot of strength and perseverance, not even just this is to me, but I think with everybody, specifically to be in this industry, specifically to be a woman, a woman of color, a black woman, uh, navigating these spaces that historically we've been left out of. I feel like you would get a great lesson on just what that means and how to carry yourself in those spaces and how sometimes it can be difficult, but it's also a part of just who we are. And it's a part of my experience specifically in the way in which I've been moving through these spaces. So I feel like you would really get a clear, clear insight on that. A musical like uh, how different is I guess the rehearsal process than yeah. you're just doing you know dramatic lines like how does that how does that change when there's a musical involved it's definitely different I'm because you have to you know continuously incorporate the songs or you have to incorporate uh the movement with that and so for me it's really tapping into all three of those things at once. And luckily uh, I started off on Broadway. Those are my roots. And so with musical theater, it's kind of like, it's a given where you have to do all three things at once. So it wasn't something that I was too unfamiliar with, but it was definitely interesting because uh, I had never done a musical on screen before. Uh, but honestly, I would have to say that the choreography and the music helped me with my performance more because it helped me just continuously get a better understanding of what the story fully was about, who character, who Kira was at her core um, and, and just 
also just that sense of community that I feel like a lot of those songs are able to portray. Student during the pandemic, like uh, how how, did, how was the, the bonding process? Because I know it's so much distancing and everything else, and I'm not sure how you guys break the ice on all your other projects, but you know, when you had chosen and you guys have to bring this on-screen chemistry, how is it different? How was it different like doing that during the pandemic than let's say when you were shooting season yeah. one of Little Fires? It was definitely different because we weren't able to have as much like bonding time, I would say, uh, like one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that I'm, I'm really fortunate for the, re the rehearsal time when it came to the choreography that we had, because that was honestly the best bonding experience that us as a cast could have had. When it's just like you, your dance partner and a choreographer like in a hot sweaty room like for you know just for hours upon hours like it really creates that sense of bond and also like a, a trust as well um and being able to motivate and push each other and also just be there for each other during moments where it wasn't necessarily always easy I feel like that really brought us closer together um and then from there I mean just any time that we could see each other on set we were always hanging out Big, big fan. Be looking for all your future projects. Thanks for the great performance and a great interview. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you.